Hey everyone and welcome to College World. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic which is reaction rates and hopefully by the end of this video you're going to be very comfortable solving questions about reaction rates and you're going to be an expert in reaction rates, I promise you guys. Anyway, so let's get into this. Okay, first we need to know what's the reaction rate. Well, consider this amazing lovely car, super super fast, even faster than a Ferrari, anyway. Okay, this, this car goes from point A to point B, covering 100 kilometers. Well, if someone asks you what's the speed of the car, or in other words, what's the rate of the car, you're gonna say it's the distance over time. Which is 100 kilometers over, I don't know, an hour, maybe? Okay. So, how can we apply this to chemical equations? Well, let's take a look at this. Consider this reaction. Sulfur solid reacting with oxygen gas to give sulfur dioxide. Well, the product is here, the sulfur dioxide. This is the product. And these are the reactants. Okay, so what's the reaction rate in this case, or the speed of the reaction? It will be product produced, which is sulfur dioxide, over time. So, now we're going to conclude what's the reaction rate. A reaction rate, or RR, is basically how much product produced produced over time taken to produce this product I know it's a bit wordy but anyways so it's how much product produced over the time taken to produce that certain product well same as the speed of the car. The speed of the car is affected by certain factors, right? For example, engine or road. I don't know, I'm not a car expert, but anyways. So there are factors that affect, affect the rate of a reaction. Well, we have five different factors that affect the rate. We're just gonna briefly go over them now and later in other videos we're gonna discuss them in details and dwell on them and hopefully you're gonna get them all. Okay. So the first factor that affects reaction rates is surface area. Denoted by SA for simplicity. Well surface area is basically the area of the reactant. For example, it can be like a cube, maybe it can be powdered, I don't know, it can be cylinder shaped, I don't know, it depends. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look at is concentration. How much of the reactant is present? The third factor is temperature. Okay, the fourth factor is light, and I know this can, can be weird for you guys when I say light, you're gonna say, oh well, how will light affect the reaction? Well, consider photosynthesis, which, a pro which is a process that occurs in everyday life, which happens in the trees and the flowers and all those lovely things, and it depends on sunlight, so this is a reaction that depends on sun, or light. Okay. The fifth factor we're going to look at is the presence of a catalyst. And a catalyst is a substance that speeds up the reaction and we're going to talk about it more and more in other videos, but for now these are the five different factors that determine determine how fast 
the reaction goes. So to recap all this, a reaction rate is basically the speed of the reaction, which is the products over time taken to produce that or those products. Okay. The factors that affect reaction rates are basically five different factors, and they are surface area, concentration, temperature, light, and the presence of a catalyst. So stay tuned guys for the next video. We're going to talk about the details of these five factors, and good luck.